Hi everybody, welcome to Northwood Farms vlog entry number 68. 68. 68. <laughs> and I'm Emma. I'm Kip. And this is Lil. Sometimes. And it's April, what day is it? It's the 13th or? <laughs> I really don't know what day it is actually. It's springtime, who cares? <laughs> it's springtime. It's 72 degrees, I don't it's care. It's not 72 degrees. Oh, it's like a million degrees. It's it 72. It feels like 72 degrees. No, it's 72. <laughs> You look at your phone. Do you? Tell <laughs> the phone does say that the it's 72. The phone says it's 72. That's good enough for uh, me. That's true. And our temperature gauge says that it's 68. You got a busted temperature gauge. <laughs> Throw it away. It, feel, it really does feel like 72, though, you guys. That's it is nice. so perfect. So I think everyone's running around doing all summer stuff. It's hey, so I fun. see hummingbirds. It's 72. That's right. Of course, they're up my nose. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> Oh no, don't get me started. All right, so what have we been doing? Well, I don't know what you've been doing, but Awful. I've been <laughs> riding a lot of horses. And I had the best time with this one this week. Well, the best time is not maybe an accurate That's way to describe That's two air quotes and one, it. no, it'll never work. No, it's not. Oh. So, I've been working on, well, one of the movements, you guys know, one of the movements that a bridal horse needs to learn in the snaffle bit is to, is to do a four-quarter yield around the haunches. So they plant their outside hind leg, they, uh, they drag their inside hind leg, and they do a little pivot all the way around with their uh, front quarters nice and free. And if you do it correctly, you, the, there ends up being this shape in the dirt with a dot, obviously, from the outside hind leg and then a, a pentagon from the inside hind leg. Okay, so Lil has been able to do perfect four-quarter yields to the left for a long time, but the right-handed ones were killing us, and they would, like, get better, and we'd get a couple steps. We started, at first, we didn't get any, because, you know, it's the inside reaching leg that is, uh, uh, tends to be a culprit, but that wasn't, that wasn't a her deal, like, she would reach nice and far, but, um, Anyways, it was it was making me crazy because we were going over and over it and not really getting past those two steps. Okay, so tell me how you got the okay. light bulb. So well, I set up the phone on the end of the on the end of the arena, and I spent two hours going back and forth, back and forth, videotaping a little bit, going and watching it, videotaping a little bit, going and watching it, and I would talk to the gang about it all day long and be like, I just know that there's got to be a way to get this done. There's got to be a better way. <laughs> so I was like, finally, after two hours, um, this was like midweek this last week, after two hours, I just got off of her. I'm like, because I have short little legs, right? So I can't reach her shoulder to talk to the shoulder. I can't really be effective compared to some people. We'll just get you stilts. <laughs> and the tapadero sword. That's the best one. <laughs> oh my god. Now I just ate a punk. So, anyway, so I got off and I was like, okay, I'm just going to figure out a way to make it happen. So we slowed it down, and sure enough, then I figured out if I could put my fingers right at her girth and talk to her at just the right time and make sure we could back the circle at just the right time, we, I kind of started to get it to happen. Of course, at some point you gotta cut off drilling your horse, right? So then I had to wait till the next day to try it out. So the next morning, like before breakfast, I'm like, come on, Lil, we're gonna check and see if this works or not. I drug her out to the round pin. And she's, you know, and then that we, we talked about that Ray Hunt quote last week, right? The one where your horse is either doing what they think you want them to do, or they're doing what they think they need to do to survive, right? So, and I knew that she was trying her little guts out. She just didn't know what the heck. But if you can't get it to happen, you can't reward it. And if you can't reward it, then you're never gonna get more of it, right? So anyway, the next morning I went out and sure enough, she was starting to get out and I'm like, okay, good. Well, then I couldn't wait to saddle her up. So I just climbed on her bareback in a halter and I'm like, we are gonna do this. And I'm like, I know I just got on. All I win is from here to here and I can do it. So we fiddled around with it for about 15 minutes. And there was a few things that I had to fix up on my timing. Um, and sure enough, we got it. Thank the dear Lord. 
All right, so Tiny, tell me about it. What were you doing? Well, okay, so the deal was that if she was going to break loose, because either she would fall forwards or her, she would come unlocked behind. In other words, her hindquarters would go to the left. Well, there's this timing where you say, back up, there's no place for the hindquarters to go to the left. And I can't really describe the timing any better than that. I mean, you have to time the block so that it's placed in the right spot. Well, yes, exactly. You have to time your block and then you have to time your send where the left front leg is just about to go over. But it really, what made the difference for us, I, I do think, is that blocking the, the left hind leg from going left was, was the biggest thing. But it was a out. saga. It was a saga. saga and it was somebody. one of the things like our new hackamore is coming. Or it, the beginning, my first one, right? It's a big deal. And, um, so, and this was one of the things I needed to have before we move on. One of the few things I'm like, come on, there's got to be a way to do it. My horse is trying. I'm trying. It can't be that hard. So we figured it out. Got it. Yay. All right, next thing. That was the big news of the week. That's yep. the big long story. So enjoy your sunshine. It's coming your way, East Coasters. We're pushing it. Push, push. <laughs> well, we want some of it to stay. Oh, there's more coming. <laughs> All right. Don't be greedy. Yeah, yes, okay. that's true. Okay, you guys, have a great week going forwards, and we'll talk to you later. All right, see you guys. Bye.